For centuries, the Comanche, along with other tribes, have considered the Wichita Mountains as sacred. Possibly as early as the 12th century, a medicine wheel was constructed in a secluded location in the mountains. No one knows who marked this place for worship and prayer. Comanche tribal citizen William Owen tells us about his first experience with the medicine wheel. Uh, Wallace told us, or Chairman Coffey told us, uh, while we were up here, um, he was telling us a story about it. And I said, did, I asked him the question, did Comanche do it? He goes, no. He said, just different tribes, you know. Uh, they all intermingled, uh, Kiowas, uh, Apaches, and Comanches. They, they, got, they got along pretty good. So, uh, and when, to my amazement, when I got out here and started looking, the formations of the rock and so forth, they're just in, perfectly in place and uh, it's just a place to pray. And you can look at, at the beauty of it, hopefully you get some pictures of it, the water and the hillsides and so forth and see the opening and you see why uh, several tribes, different tribes came here to pray. And the people when they were, in, they were uh, introduced into Christianity, some would uh, go into the church of a what they call a white man church or a structured church. So it was a different type of uh, um, spirituality for them. So some of them just stuck with the, the outsides, mother nature and what have you, and the spirituality of this place right here. So um, they had choices. So well, I thought that was pretty neat. So yeah, uh, that's all I heard about it and so forth. So, but I like it. I mean, I, I come here now. While recovering from COVID-19, Mr. Owen visited the medicine wheel to seek comfort. I was uh, probably on my, I want to say the 16th day of quarantine. I was supposed to quarantine for 14 days and I just wasn't comfortable. At that time, I just felt like um, like I had a disease and I didn't want to be seen by anybody. That's, that's really how it had me thinking and um, I knew I had to get out. So and the first place I came was here. So. And then I seen a lot of trash around here and uh, all the rocks were moved and so forth. So I called my Aunt Verna, uh, Verna Burgess, and um, called my Uncle Billy, Comb Cheat, and uh, Wallace and tried to refer, ask them, uh, you know, I told them this place was, uh, you know, it needed some clean up and stuff. And then all they told me was just do it, what, what your heart tells you. So um, just what I did. So I just cleaned it up, you know. Um, that's what you could, I mean, give it a little love, I guess, yeah. I come here now, uh, because I know this is a place for worship, and, you know, if you, with COVID, especially, now you can't even go to church, but this, this could be your church, or your heart's your church, but, um, I don't know, it's just a, it's a good place, it's really peaceful out here, and hopefully no, not too many people know about it, so. For Buffalo's Fire News, this is Dan Bigby reporting.